Afternoon all, I'm back at the allotment and my first proper bit of work on the plot. I'm going to do some um, transplanting. Now let me tell you the story behind this. Last year I grew loads of seeds, loads of flowers and uh, it came to the stage where I just, there was too many and I didn't get around to doing certain things. Now one of the things that succumbed, which I forgot about, which I had in the frame, got moved at some point into the frame, were the oriental poppies. Right, so the story is that they all died off. But look folks, look what's happened during the winter. Um, those plants were I thought had completely gone and I was about to, uh, I was going to dump the soil. And look what's happened, they've all grown. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to transplant these into four inch pots. Uh, we've got, I think, three or four trays of these. So I'm going to do what I feel like doing this afternoon. I've got a big bag of uh, Westland multi-purpose multi compost, my favourite soil. And uh, we're going to see how many we can get uh, potted up. And once they've, what we'll probably do after this, once they've grown in these pots, they'll probably get uh, They'll either, I'll either put some in bigger pots and have them dotted around, you know, around the plot or at home, or, or I'll, I'll move them on into, um, into final positions, or I'll see if I can barter them for something else with somebody else. So that's the plan. So let's crack on. The first job, got the gloves on to try and keep my hands a bit warmer because it, it's not that warm. It's about 12 degrees in here, but I think it's only about 6 or 7 degrees outside. So, I've just got to start breaking up some of this compressed soil in the bag. This compost. And uh, filling up these pots. Some of you might think, oh god, how, um, how boring is that? But to be honest with you, when I'm not filming and I'm not worried about anything, I'm quite uh, contented to just carry on doing this and, and time flies, goes by and uh, it's great. It, it kind of, it's a bit bit therapeutic in a way, you, your brain switches off so if you're worried about anything, um, it's a bit like painting really, and you get stuck into this. Um, your brain hasn't got time to think about other things so um, although it might not seem very relaxing it actually is so what I'm going to do rather than uh, film the whole lot um, I'll just do these six and then I'll, I'll show you how I put them on and then we'll move on to something else after I've done what I'm doing. Right then. See it's here. I'm hoping you can see me there. You can just see me, can't you? Right. I've got I use these labels. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use one of these to dig around these poppies and uh, and then I'm gonna I'm just going to stick them in into the centre of these pots, just one to a pot, because they do grow into quite big plants. There you are folks, look at that, can you see that root on there? Now. Let's go a bit closer. Can you see that? Okay, and that's the root system. Now with poppies, they all have different types of root system. Now if you're familiar with those ones which just um, grow for one year and then they rely on their seeds to self-set, um, you'll notice when you pull one of those out, when it's a small plant, all you've got is one single uh, root. Whereas these have got multiple, there's, there's all different things. So there we are folks, that is now going to go into, into here. Firm it in. 
and um, it will get watered. We'll get another one out. They're actually quite nice plants these are. In this case I can see there's a clump of them. Um, we'll just leave that on there. Just make that hole in there. There you are, so that's two. I've got another one here. Another one here. There's four done straight away. Now I don't know what what um, shades of colour these are going to be. Whether they're going to be, uh, you know, yellowy, orangey, reddy, you know, with no idea because they're a, uh, a mixed Oriental poppy. Yeah, I don't want to cover it there, oh, yeah, that's better. So this was actually a uh, quite a nice surprise this winter because I, 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 I thought I'd honestly lost these and to find that they're actually not only survived but they're actually flourishing it's quite a bonus so I'm going to crack on I'm going to do as many as I can I'll bring another one in um, then the next job if I've got time I'm going to do some sweet peas now you, if you look on the pack it says so October to January indoors or March to April outdoors um, times especially with the weather out is go all to pot now I've got loads of poppies I've got a whole pot full of cup full what I've collected for my own last year and I've got probably half a dozen packs of sweet peas so what I thought this year would get some started earlier than what I normally do and have them in the tunnel here and we'll, we'll just see how things go now the ones what my dad grew in the autumn and um, He's got them in the shed on the window and that, they all survive nicely. The ones what he actually grew, now let's see if I can, yeah. My father grew some in these. Would you believe it? They're only an inch, probably an inch and a quarter high. And he grew a load. It, all he did is fill them with soil and just, put, just put, put the seed on the top, didn't even press it in. Anyway, they've produced plants and they've been out all winter. You know, and they're still in these, and they still survived. Now, you you read or whatever, whatever you do, you always read that they've got to have big root. You've got to use a big pot to grow them in. Well, my dad's proven that that's not necessarily true. Okay, when they're bigger, they need a good a bigger size pot. But last year, I actually grew them in these squashed four inch pots I think the four inch or three and a half whatever they are and uh, they're all fine um, but I, I do admit I tend to use I think it's a five inch or six inch 150 mil pot generally um, I've not got one that hand oh actually I have just follow me back here and I'll show you That's the size I normally grow them in, and how I do it, I'll, I'll, you'll see this anyway because I'm going to film it, so I won't go into detail now. It is on previous videos, but I didn't have the camcorder or the editing software, so hopefully this year I'm going to be able to, to um, fine-tune everything. Okay, that's enough for that. I'll catch you in a little while. Okay folks, I've just finished the tray. You can see they're all a, a variety of sizes. You know, we've got some which are quite large and then we've got some which are 
are, um, are quite tiny. But hopefully with a good water and a bit of tender loving care, these will continue to thrive. And when you think uh, if you went in and bought one of these oriental ones, in a, admittedly in a bigger pot, um, you're looking at uh, maybe paying seven or eight pound. So uh, you got six, nine, you got 15 there. It's uh, not that I'll ever manage to sell anything, but you know, there's quite some value in it.